Good morning, people. Um, could be early afternoon. I'm not sure exactly what time it is. In any case, so apparently the uh, the gods did not want me to do this video because I had a hell of a time getting the tripod set up, getting the camera on the tripod. I dropped the camera, thought I broke it. It I don't know. Anyway, it, it took me a minute to get everything situated, but I did, and. Um, so yeah, it has been uh, a couple of weeks. No, it's been more like three and a half weeks, almost a month, something like that. I'd have to go back and look at the dates. Um, the last video I did, I believe, is when I came on and was just kind of giving you guys an update on when our friend, because that was the time when our friends had passed, Greg and Donna, and uh, I will get into more detail with all of that later. I'm basically just jumping in and um, giving you guys a little bit of a fill in of why haven't, I haven't been on, and um, yeah, so in any case, uh, it's been a long month, and uh, one thing after another. I'm still trying to get the dental thing taken care of that has not been done. Um, long story there, and basically the the dentist that was going to do it, remember I had everything set up, the dentist that was going to do it decided to back out of it and because of the AS and you know he decided that it needed to be done in a more surgical setting. So. We, he referred me to a uh, an oral surgeon, and um, that didn't pan out because the way insurance worked out, he either didn't take my insurance or he didn't take the Medicare or the Medicaid because you know I'm dual eligible and all that. So that's that's a lot to get into. But in any case, um, we tried, and there is nobody that accept the way everything works out that accepts it. You know to um, for me to get things done without me having to like pay out of pocket. So uh, basically what it's boiled down to is uh, I have to drive next month. We have to go to Shands, which is in Gainesville, which is about two hours away. So we got to go there and do the consultation and then they'll make the appointment probably after that to get everything done. At that point, um, not that it's a surprise because I will always wait so long to do a vlog, but I won't be doing a vlog for probably four and a half weeks after that. Um, I mean, I could. Actually, I could. I could probably, that would give me plenty of time at that point to do the uh, couple of videos that I needed to get done anyway that I don't have to show myself on camera because the things that are going to be being done, nobody's going to see hiding her hair of me for about four and a half weeks after the surgery, after the, everything is done. So, um, because it's not going to be a pretty sight. <laughs> so, in any case, um, but yeah, there was a couple of videos I think I could do and get done that I had been wanting to do and been saying I was going to do without having to have me on. We'll see how that works out. Um, between now and then, I will be doing, a, you know, some vlogs, trying to get caught back up on those, and, um, going to be doing some uh, review videos as well and I might I might my niece is coming in in a few weeks and hopefully I'll see if she wants to do one of the review vlogs with me um, Yeah, go figure. Like it, the gunshots go with the territory. Don't worry about it. Anyway, um, so yeah, I think I'll you know see if she wants to do one of the vlogs with me because I think I'll have one of the items to vlog by the time she gets here, hopefully. And basically, with their vaping vlogs, and um, I had bought. Uh, and I, one of the items I bought and uh, myself and then they got in contact with me later I can't say the company right now um, they contacted me after the fact and wanted to know if I would be interested in doing a, you know a review on one of the items I said sure so I'll be getting that probably 
early this week, and then, um, you know, I got some juices and stuff that I want to uh, um, review as well, so, that I have to review, and because I already committed to reviewing them, and when I say juices, I'm talking about the e-juices for the uh, vapes, so, but I'll get into all that later and explain everything, but um, speaking of which, I have been off now cigarettes for just over two months, and um, so far so good. I started out, initially I started out at 20 milligrams nicotine on the juice, and tapered that down to 18, and I started, yesterday was the full day of uh, 12 milligrams, so now I'm on 12 milligrams, and I gotta be careful because some of the juice that I got, um, this one in particular, um, I burnt through half the bottle. It is that good. It is actually, it's a, uh, for you guys on Facebook, you've seen the pictures. It was the Lola, which is, it's a hibiscus tea, like infused with strawberry. And it is absolutely, amazing. It's kind of strange because you get, on your inhale, you get, um, a mixture, well with me, I'm thinking, with other people they get different things, so everybody's taste buds are different, but with me you get like a mixture of the tea and the strawberry, and then on the exhale, with me, I get a full-fledged hibiscus tea flavor with it, and it is good, really good. And I got some more flavors in there that I'm going to try and do the reviews on and whatever. Um, so yeah, other than that, uh, you can see I'm in a new setting. Um, that is because Dan got together with a couple of people, our friend John, and uh, which it was his wife, you know, Donna's the one who has it, you know, John's, that's her husband. And um, so it, it, that, he was helping Dan do the deck and everything, and that kind of kept him busy. And, um, He's doing pretty good. I'll get into all that later. And, of course, our friend Bill next door, he helped as well. Thank God Bill helped because it's done correctly. That's all I'm going to say. So, um, and then they add, ended up adding another, or building another smaller version of the deck and put it over to the side for the grill. And I'll explain how all that went down later. You know, I'll show you guys the deck once I get it cleaned up a little bit. we got to get some sod out. And some other stuff. So, um, I think that's about it. I basically just wanted to come in and say, hey, let you guys, you know, give you a quick run up of what's going on. I am watching all the vlogs. <coughs> so, I am kind of caught up with everybody. Um, except for you, Jess. I did not see that vlog last week. And I don't know what happened. But I did not see that. But, um, you know, I hope everything is going okay in that department. Angie, um, give Jay my best, and it looks like he's doing pretty good. I mean, that's, uh, you know, anytime you have some fusing, fusing, fusing done, um, I know it's very uncomfortable, very painful, but um, hopefully he'll be okay. I mean, it, to me, it seemed like he was doing pretty good, so, but um, in any case, Alright guys, like I said, I've watched all your vlogs. I've just pinpointed a couple of them. Um, I'm going to jump off here for now, get this rendered in the computer, get it uploaded, and uh, check on the dog. Um, yeah, there's just a lot going on right now. Oh, the infusion. Somebody was asking how the Rumicade infusion will go. Well, well, the fusions, God, I can't talk. We're going, and... So far, so good. Um, I haven't had really, maybe just a couple side effects from the Rumicade, but um, nothing major. I did start getting a little bit of a sinus infection, but I grabbed the neti pot real quick, got that flushed out, and, um, you know, trying to keep that in bay, under bay, as it were. But I do believe once I get the dental work done, I think that's going to help subside a lot of that issue. And um, that's going to be a big player in that as well. 
But, uh, but yeah, but basically they're going pretty good, and at least from what I can tell, I do some blood work probably, probably do it next month, and then that'll show um, all the levels and make sure that everything's in check and it's not affecting the liver and all that good stuff, so. And then I have to get my uh, license. Yeah, I gotta go to the eye doctor. But I think I'm going to wait because September I get my license renewed and um, of course I have to do the eye test and I don't know if I should go see the eye doctor and get that going now or wait until after I get my license. I may go early to get the license renewed. I don't think there's, you don't have to do it. I mean, I don't think you have to wait to get it done but um, on your birthday. But So I think I may go ahead and try and get that done now, and, yeah, I don't know, we'll see how that works out, but, um, yeah. Alright, I'm going to get off here for now, I love you all, everybody be safe, um, and I will be back, I don't know if I'll be back tomorrow, no promises, but I am going to be picking up on the vlog, so, yeah. Hi right, guys, love y'all. Talk to you later. Bye.